What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week eight of the regular season here in our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise. We just had a bye week, um, but it should be a fun episode because we get to look at the player stats from around the league, the awards, I mean, as well as check in on Tremaine Small. Let's go ahead and get going with our new game prep here, see what we have to get done. Uh, we worked on Golden quite a bit last week. We still want to get our defense up to par. I feel okay with them. Um, however, you know, it's still a little bit iffy. We need to make sure our guys are ready um, to step up. You know, again, our offense hasn't been near as explosive this year. Um, so we need our defense to be able to make some plays in case things don't work out offensively. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our strong safeties again. Ofisa Okafor, just continue to give him some time. He's going to have to play a big role for our team in the playoffs. Um, and we need to be able to rely on him. You know, that's one thing I'm really concerned about. We've given up a lot of big plays this year. And uh, we need to make sure that our safeties are there to uh, prevent those big plays from happening, I should say. Uh, we'll also work on Jimmy Mosley a little bit for the same exact reason. You know, we need to make sure our team is ready going in to the playoffs. So there we go. Um, no more time. Let's go check out any new potential draft stories. Um, <coughs> uh, McKaylee Ash has been the key to Wisconsin's success defending the pass. He's playing shutdown coverage recently. Wearing 31, much like Jimmy Mosley, could potentially be that free safety that we saw earlier. Uh, meaning three straight safeties from Wisconsin going in the first round. That'd be pretty crazy. I think they went in the first round last year. Nebraska coach announced today that Terry Simmons would be suspended for the remainder of the season. And we've already read that one. The suspension is due to academic violation. Something to at least keep an eye on. Um, you know, he could potentially be a very, very good player. Um, just not great at book smarts, you know, which usually means their awareness might be very low. Uh, might make the intangible grade pretty low as well, which I think somebody said is an indicator of rating. So the Chiefs ended up winning. Wow. All right. Tremaine Small got his first victory. Let's go ahead and see who this came against here. All right, so he played, where is, oh, I need to go up a week, don't I? Um, so here it is, Jets at Chiefs, 38 points he put up. The Jets were 4-2 and two going into this game. Um, so let's check out the stats. Wow, 140.8, 428 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. Ladies and gentlemen, Tremaine Small has arrived, and we might have made a huge mistake. His second start with his new team, a monster showing. Wow. 33 of 42, 78% completion there. Um, let's see who he was throwing it to over here. Sellers, the rookie. The rookie wide receiver with three touchdowns. They might have just formed a huge duo moving forward over there. Something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Them being in our division. Roddy White got the other touchdown for them. But Wow. Did he get player of the week with that? Oh, no, I meant to hit O. Oh. He might have gotten player of the week with that, guys. His second start. Let's go check that out. Oh, gosh, the lag is real today. All right, here we go. Come on. Don't fight me. There we go. All right. Weekly awards. He did. Wow, Matt Stafford, 29 of 45, 374 yards, a touchdown. Davis, five tackles, three interceptions. Rock three sacks for the Browns. I think he's a rookie too. In that Brady Rock, oh, he might be a second-year player. And Tremaine Small, 33 of 42, 428 yards and four touchdowns, four carries for seven yards. Wow, his second start with his new team, and he is picking up Player of the Week, guys. We are going to have to keep an eye out on him and the Chiefs now. Oh no, I don't know why I'm going to leak stats. I'm meant to go to awards. Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that does not come back to bite us. Yearly awards. <coughs> Still got this cold. Johnny Manziel leading the way for the 7-1 Browns. Russell Wilson, number two in the MVP charts. Joe Flacco at three. Chaz Jenkins, four. Drew Brees, five. Colin Kaepernick, six. Robert Griffin, the third at seven. Aaron Rodgers, eight. Lavaris Carey at nine. The only wide receiver on the list. And Ryan Nassib, Nassib. At 10-4, uh, the Jets. So, all quarterbacks except for a second-year wide receiver. Wow, coach of the year. Uh, all right, just going to scroll through these kind of quickly again. Single up there again. That's pretty cool to see. 
And there we go. All right, let's go check out AFC. I want to go through these kind of quickly. Uh, Manziel, Flacco, Devrin, Golden on the list at number three for Offensive Player of the Year. Very cool to see Eddie Lacy doing well with the Dolphins. Lavaris Carey, uh, despite being ninth in the MVP voting, only seventh in the AFC for awesome Offensive Player of the Year. That's kind of interesting there. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, of course, Jason Richardson, who is just a monster getting work done. Uh, and now look at this. The Dolphins are picking up all kinds of players. The Dolphins might be a team to worry about. James Laronitis with the Browns now. Um, the Dolphins have a lot of players getting work done. Khalil Mack on the list at number six. That's cool to see. And another Dolphin on that list. Wow. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Mark Gutierrez, doing work with the 5-3 uh, and three Dolphins. Very, very impressive for him. Uh, Eldon Strong, 80 overall. Uh, Gutierrez is the 82 overall. Strong for the Colts, 80 overall. Jawan Sellers, who just had three touchdowns uh, with his new quarterback, 77 overall. Uh, Martez Kane, 83 overall for the Steelers. Randall, 84 overall for the Titans. And wasn't the, uh, no. 84 overall for the Titans. LaRon Curse, another player from the Colts, 80 overall. Chauncey Green on the list at number seven. He might have been higher without that injury. Lumpkin, uh, 80 overall for the Jags. 75 overall for the Chiefs. And 73 overall for the Jets. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Gray. A player we kind of looked at. I think he was out of Pittsburgh. Uh, the Bills have yet to get a win, but he is doing his work with 79 overall, 82 overall for the Texans. Uh, Laundre Stevenson, 80 overall. Again, the Dolphins, man. So many good players getting stuff done. Deshea Campbell for the Crusaders on the list at number four. Kawan Pleasant, number five for the Crusaders. He was actually cut from his other team, uh, shockingly. Chris Holm for the Jets. Uh, Johnny Lowe for the Browns, 84 overall. The Browns have had some incredibly good drafts, and it is showing here. 84 overall, man. Uh, 66 overall for the Colts, 70 overall for the Patriots, and 77 overall for Nicholas Guy for the Broncos. Best quarterback, going to scroll down the list kind of quickly. I think we know a lot of the names we expect to see, uh, even though some of them might have different different teams now. Uh, Devin Golden, best running back. Andre Brown out of NC State getting work done for the Chargers, man. Uh, who we're about to see, actually. Eddie Lacy uh, for the Dolphins, having a good season. Forte on the Browns now. Uh, and Elvin Strong, a rookie making the list. Very cool to see that. Easton, I think, a second-year player now. Lavaris Carey. Um, yeah, Lavaris Carey, uh, number one overall. The Browns, we kind of expected to see that. And this is just unfortunate. Stevie Johnson on the list, but Keiston Mack not on the list this season. Uh, that is something that kind of bums me out a little bit. Not going to lie. A lot of uh, Crusaders along the offensive line list. Pouncey Brothers next to each other there. Uh, Vince Wilfork, Justin Tuck, and Shelby Harris, three of the top four players for defensive line, though. Definitely getting work done there. Uh, defensive back, Justin Gilbert for the Browns. Uh, Gilmore for the Dolphins. Again, Dolphins picking up a lot of very nice players. Prince of Mukamara at number five. Uh, four is the second-year player for the Ravens on the list. Kicker, Delgado. Uh, Gostkowski getting it done, number two overall. Very cool to see that. We have a good kicker we can rely on. And let's check out the NFC really fast. Uh, really fast. Jeez. Alfred Morris leading the way. Russell Wilson, number two. Um, just going to go down this list kind of quickly. Ellington with the Eagles. What about LaShawn McCoy being traded? That just happened today. I don't know when this video is being posted, but wow. Colin Kaepernick at number seven. Uh, Roy Hallou Jr. on the list. Very cool to see that. Very interesting to see that. He was uh, the running back for the Packers now that they don't have Eddie Lacy anymore. Uh, Luke Keekley still getting it done. Eric Reed, 99 overall for the 49ers. That is what I like to see. Uh, no Patrick Willis on the list. Wow. Uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year, 81 overall for the Buccaneers. 77 for the Seahawks. 81 for the Redskins, who are 5-2, and two, so getting stuff done over there. 78 for the Panthers. 75 for the Panthers. Um, 72 for the Saints. 73 for the Falcons. 71 for the Packers. 75 for the Buccaneers and 70 for the Saints. Um, DeMarco Beasley, again, I think he was out of Wisconsin replacing Jimmy Mosley. And uh, he is leading the way for Defensive Rookie of the Year in the, a or the NFC. I'm sorry. 79 overall for the Cowboys. 78 for the Lions. 81, Bradford Patrick. Um, I believe he was the other strong safety that we scouted. 
Um, and he is for the Giants, 81 overall. 82 overall, Klein, the cornerback for the Cowboys. Cowboys picking up a lot of players for their secondary, something we need to do. 79 for the Bucks, 73 for the Redskins, 81 for the Lions, 83 for the Seahawks, uh, 68 for the Packers, and 66 for the Panthers. Uh, quarterbacks, going to go through kind of quickly. Hoyer on the Cardinals now. That's an interesting one. Mitchell for the Bears uh, getting the number six on the list. Tom Parker for the Giants way down there as well. Uh, going through the list kind of quickly. Carlos Hyde making it up on the list now. Des Bryant leading the way for wide receivers. Fabian Rogers for the Seahawks uh, doing a good job as well as Carlson, who I think is actually the uh, rookie. So he made the list for best wide receiver. Very interesting to see that. A lot of 49ers getting it done uh, for the offensive line, defensive line. Uh, Clay Matthews on that list. Wow, okay, he's changed over. Uh, Nadam Kasu, Brockers, Baker, Irvin, Jordan Hill, and Nick Fairley on that list. Uh, defensive back Devin McCourty still getting it done with the Redskins. Richard Sherman for the 7-0 Seahawks. And Ter uh, Terrell Brown, a guy who was on our team and we let go. Uh, we traded him away in the first year of our franchise, doing a very good job with his new team, the Giants. Eric Reed, uh, again, 99 overall, having a pretty good season so far. Jimmy Smith, uh, wow, uh, another player that we had, obviously. Getting work done for the Panthers, a very good pickup for them. Jimmy Ward for the 49ers, Chancellor Chris Culliver. So a lot of the 49ers secondary on this list. An alter on Werner, uh, kicker Graham Gano. Down the list we go here. Oscar Samuels on the list for the uh, Giants. Very cool to see that. And that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Got a lot done. Uh, next up in week number nine, we have the one loss of our season against the, the San Diego Chargers. A chance to redeem ourselves and hopefully pick up a win against a division rival. A loss here could be crucial. The Broncos are right on our tail, and that would bring us within one game of the Chargers again, uh, and they would have the tiebreaker over us. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in week number nine as we take on the Chargers. Later.